The pristine lakes, forests, and mountains of Abdalen, Sweden look straight out of a fairy tale. And from this land comes a majestic and royal story, which is no less than a Disney fairy tale. This is the tale of Princess Sophia, Duchess of Varmland. But do you know the princess, a commoner before marriage, who was even a successful model? In today's video, we will dive deep into the life of this Swedish princess, and everything will be revealed here today. From becoming a princess, to living a lavish lifestyle. But before that, let's get started with her early life. Princess Sofia Christina was born on the 6th of December 1984 in a well-to-do Swedish family where her father, Eric Oscar Helkvist, is a well-known Swedish businessman and managing director of a regional supermarket chain. And her mother, Maria Britt Rutman, was a marketing manager in the plastics industry. The young Sofia grew up in Danderyd with her parents and two sisters, where her childhood was quite normal like any other Swedish family. Though they were not affluent, this small family easily managed to live a modest life. And most, like other parents, the father of the Sofia, Eric Oscar, wanted to give his daughters a good education. For this reason, Sofia's childhood was split between two different places. Until she was six, she lived in Tabe, Sweden, but then her family moved to the picturesque town of Abdalen. It was a huge change for the young girl, as Abdalen was a tiny town where people still spoke an ancient Viking-era language called Alfdalayan, and the region was known for its outdoor activities such as skiing. Growing up in Afdalen gave Sofia a unique perspective on life. She attended the local Montessori school and then the Abdal school. Young Sofia was always interested in the arts. However, as she got older, she pursued her passion for music. She became a student of the arts program at Vansbro Education Center, where she specialized in music. But that was not enough for Sofia. She wanted more. She wanted to achieve more, and this urge and hunger for success took her from this small Abdal town to Stockholm, which is the capital of Sweden, and 650 kilometers away from her town. As Sofia grew out of her teenage years, she reached the capital for their further studies. But just like any other commoner, her troubles had just started. Soon, Sofia began to face financial difficulties as she struggled to make ends meet each month. To support herself, she took up various jobs, such as working as a salesperson in a sports shop and even waitressing at restaurants. Additionally, as a side source of income, she became a yoga instructor and held seminars in different parts of the capital. But later, Sofia moved to New York to study accounting at the New York Institute of English and Business. However, living in New York proved to be expensive for Sofia, and she had to resort to working as a waitress again, this time at the Serafina Pizzeria. It was during this period that Princess Sophia's modeling career took off as she was discovered by a talent scout while working at a restaurant in New York. The scout asked her if she was interested in modeling and offered to take some photos of her. Sophia agreed and this was the moment when she discovered her passion for modeling. And soon she began doing some modeling work while still working at the restaurant. Later, she enrolled in a three-month modeling course at a school in New York, which helped her to develop her skills and gain more experience. After returning to Sweden, she continued to work as a model, and this was quickly supported by her striking looks and natural poise that caught the attention of photographers and modeling agencies, leading to numerous modeling gigs and photo shoots. However, it was in 2004 when Sophia's big moment came when she posed with a boa constrictor for the men's magazine, Slits. And this photo shoot of a 20-year young Sophia quickly started gathering the attention of the people, which even increased the sale of the magazine, and later she was voted Miss Slits 2004. This success led to more modeling opportunities, including runway shows and print ads, making her good fortune. But in 2005, Sophia moved to New York to study accounting at the New York Institute of English and Business. Another big moment in her modeling career came in the same year when she got a call to participate in a reality TV show called Paradise Hotel, for which she moved back to Sweden. And she participated in this reality TV show where Sophia had to participate along with others and live in a luxurious resort and complete different challenges on camera. Her outgoing personality and charming demeanor quickly made her a fan favorite. She made it to the finals of the show before being voted off but this setback didn't stop Sophia. Rather, she became more popular in the nation and won multiple acting roles in various fields. However, this was just one step closer to being the crown princess. Meeting the Prince 
Five years have passed since a girl from a small village had made a name in pop culture and gathered all the popularity. On a pleasant summer evening, Sofia was at a nightclub in Bastad, southern Sweden, enjoying some after work time with her friend when she first met the prince. Prince Carl Philip of Sweden, Duke of Varmland, who was enjoying his bachelor life after breaking up with his girlfriend of nearly 10 years. Meanwhile, the pair had met each other on other occasions before, but they only started talking at that encounter. Not long after their initial meeting, the couple began dating in secret and put forth great effort to keep their relationship hidden from the media. They made a point to arrive separately whenever they went to the movies and used different names when speaking to each other on the phone among other precautions. However, this secret romantic affair didn't last long, and news broke out that the sole male heir of King Carl XVI Gustav and Queen Sylvia of Sweden is in a relationship with a former reality TV star and glamour model. And as the news became official, a massive controversy erupted in the nation. The news of the prince dating a model didn't go well with the people of Sweden, who believed this was against the culture of Sweden. But this was just the start. In the months following, the Swedish media dug up all kinds of unflattering and bold pictures of Sofia, which she did during her initial years, including her photo shoot for men's magazine Slits. And this reporting by the national media added fuel to this situation. Further stories claimed that she wasn't welcomed by the Swedish royal family, and they didn't think she was princess material, which was denied by the royal family. However, this controversy went on for three more years. But even after all the controversy, the couple stood with each other in this difficult time. And on June 27, 2014, Prince Carl Philip got down on one knee and proposed to his girlfriend, Ms. Sophia Helpquist. Later that day, the couple's engagement was announced, and they even posed for photographs in front of the Royal Palace of Stockholm. A year later, on June 13, 2015, their long-awaited wedding day finally arrived and Royal Palace Chapel in Stockholm, Sweden was chosen as their venue to exchange their vows. The Sweden Chapel was decorated by the court's florist, Klaus Carlsson, and his team of 45 florists, and this masterpiece decoration consisted of roses, peonies, carnations, hydrangea, and fuchsia. The color scheme of the wedding was pale pink and white, which created a very romantic and elegant atmosphere. Coming to the wedding dress, Princess Sophia's wedding dress was designed by Swedish designer Ida Schultzstad. The dress was made of silk crepe and featured a stunning lace back. The bride wore myrtle in both her hair and bouquet because of a Swedish royal wedding tradition since 1905. And finally, the prince completed her look with a diamond tiara and a veil, which was a wedding gift of her parents-in-law. And for this special occasion, Prince Carl Philip wore his military uniform from the Swedish Amphibious Corps, accompanied by the sash of the Order of the Seraphim and the Order of the Polar Star around his neck. Apart from the Swedish royal family, the wedding was attended by more than 550 royal guests, which included the likes of Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, Queen Matilda of the Belgians, the Crown Prince Couple of Denmark, Crown Prince Couple of Norway, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, Queen Sonia of Norway and Prince Carl Philip's godmother, Queen Margaret of Denmark, witnessed the union. It was even televised worldwide for everyone to witness this grand event, which was eventually watched by millions of people around the world. And finally, the moment when the couple exchanged the rings and said I do in front of a family and close friends. And with this, a commoner from a small village in Switzerland became the princess of the nation and also received the title of Duchess of Varmland. The wedding came to an end with the newly married couple going on a carriage ride in the city of Stockholm to acknowledge the greetings of well-wishers. The wedding was a hit, and it was described by guests and even common citizens as a perfect mixture of traditional and modern weddings. After the wedding ceremony, the nation was filled with celebration as it was seen as a victory of love and compassion. Even foreign media reported it and called it a victory of love. Now, Princess Sophia, Duchess of Varmland, lives quite a lavish life with her duke and their three children. Despite living a royal and influential life, the princess is well respected in the nation, not due to her down-to-earth behavior and poised nature, but she is also liked for her work towards society, and she heavily invests her time in charity work, which she started back in 2010 by co-founding a non-profit organization called Project Playground, which helps underprivileged children in South Africa. During COVID, she worked as a volunteer at Sophia Hammett Hospital in Stockholm, 
She even went on to help the doctors and nurses by doing tasks like working in the kitchen and cleaning and disinfecting instruments. Thanks for watching the video. Comment down below about your favorite part of the video and let us know. Also, press the subscribe button and bell icon for regular updates.